Justice tonight for several women who were assaulted by a man who was out to target women across the metro. And that man will never get to see the light of day outside a prison cell ever again. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez joins us tonight. Ivan, these women had a chance to stand up and tell the world how they plan to move forward. And Shannon, both women say they feel like it's taken an eternity to have their day in court to face their attacker. Now they feel like they can close this painful chapter and live their lives. As Vanessa Ursini and Diane Hammer walked into the courtroom, they faced the man they had feared for more than a year. Every day when I wake up, it feels like I'm climbing Mount Everest just to make it through the day. Vanessa is married, used to work as a Pilates teacher, and loved to travel. I feel like a warrior most days. <laughs> the day she was attacked along the Mary Carter Greenway in Littleton, she says the ambitious, outgoing woman disappeared. It won't ever go away, but now we can at least start to move on and stop worrying about court dates and seeing him and sharing my... Vanessa was walking her dog in July of last year when Johnny Dwayne Harris attacked her, dragged her into the woods, strangled her with rope, and assaulted her. And she wasn't the only victim. He was hovering over me, and every instinct in my body responded in fight. I screamed so loud that my scream still sometimes echoes in my head. Four months before Vanessa was attacked, Diane was assaulted at Knife Point in the Denver bookstore where she worked. I was part of a serial rapist path of destruction. For both women, the strength it took to stand in front of the man who hurt them, they'll now use to try and start over. The sentence that I and Vanessa and the other victim in Denver have received is lifelong. We can't escape it. We manage the effects the best we can, but we are forever changed. We have this special bond that was created by something so awful, so it's, uh, we're still just blossoming into our, into our friendship. She is part of my family and will be for always. Now, records show Harris was also convicted of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl in Texas nearly two decades ago. Now he will be spending the rest of his life in prison for the crimes he committed in Colorado. Ann? Ivan Rodriguez, thank you so much.